Hello everybody, Everton Zakini here and this video is actually a continuation from my last video where I show how to use some outside notes to reach the notes inside of the scale and also create some embellishments using some techniques as band or hammer on slides during these passing notes. In that video I just used one scale, I was thinking about C minor, I didn't think too much about the chord progression in the backing track. So today, let's take a look how I think about the chord progression and think chord by chord. And also, at the end, there's one more tip that I include in the video for you. Let's practice. So this example, I will give you in C major, and I will use a very popular chord progression, which is a 2-5-1-6. So, in a 2-5-1-6 chord progression in C major, we're gonna have the chords D minor 7, then we have G7, then we have C major 7, and then a A7 chord, okay? So what you do, I get the D minor, I will be using the C major scale, but my focus now is D minor, the first chord. When I have this chord, I will play the C major scale, but getting the notes from the D minor chord. So for example here, over this D minor chord here, I will play minor second to the major second. You can use also D minor with the blue note. All right. Then when I move to G, you can think about the notes of G. And then do a passive. And then when you have C major 7, you can do the same idea. It's very, this one is very cute to use from the minor 3rd to the major 3rd. And then over this A7 chord, major 3rd, and then you can do the same pass. D minor, G, C, A, 7, D minor, okay, so this is more complex, you're thinking about chords and you can use this approach for every chord of the scale and other chord progressions. Let's see how it sounds with a backing track. bonus tip here but before you get the tip subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and this way you can get all the tips that I'm giving to you and then posting videos every week also if you like the video hit the like and I want to hear from you if it's easy to thinking about chord by chord and use the outside notes on this chord progression I'm using the sixth degree of the scale and actually the sixth degree in C major would be a a minor so in this case I'm using the a7 chord. So actually this chord is to prepare to D minor. So one tip here that you can use is besides that notes that are outside from the scale, you can think also in a D minor harmonic scale over this chord and that this way you already you get all the intervals that you need. So you have for example the minor second and the main note of this chord which is the third. So it's really important you hit the major third when you play this A7 chord. So here the D minor harmonic scale over this A7 chord. So the pattern that I will teach you is this one here. So the chord. And 
this way you can reach the D minor. Now it's your turn to practice. See ya!